All right, everyone. It's March the 7th, um, 2019. Doing a continuation of the video um, on this Plymouth Savoy. The first video showed where I actually bought it from the garage where it had been sitting up. Just had like an inch of dirt and just accumulation on it. And it was in pretty bad shape. The motor didn't run. And I've had it about a week now. Um, basically, the ignition system, I've basically replaced a lot of stuff. The distributor cap, the coil, spark plugs. Finally got it to fire. Once I got it to fire, um, put everything back on, put a little start fluid in it, and it, it started right up with the old oil. The oil has been there for 11 years. Um, and also, the gas is 11 years old. I actually ran the gas here around this yard here um the front the front wheel here was actually stuck the the drum brakes were rusted up so this the the front wheel was actually just sliding uh, here in the grass there's probably some marks i don't know if you can see them now but yeah there's some marks there where it's sliding around or if you can see back over there on that side there some marks there but the, yeah the front wheels just weren't um working properly but I ran it probably about 15 to 20 laps around the yard and across, as far as I can see where those trees are, across that way, about a quarter mile up the road is a gas station. But anyway, once I started the engine up with the starting fluid and let it run for about five seconds, you know, just to get started going, I actually wanted to see if that gas would keep it going just for the, you know, curiosity of it and it actually ran on the old gas 11 years old um, and that's what I I said I've done about 15 20 laps in the yard and then drove it over to the gas station to fill the gas tank up with new gas um, and it held 12 gallons right almost 12 gallons so I think I really ran all the gas pretty much out except for maybe a half a gallon was left in it but uh anyway I'm gonna show you guys this linseed oil I, I went to Walmart. It was like 15 bucks at Walmart. Um, I guess you guys can see where I have put the linseed oil, and I haven't. So just check this out real quick. I'm gonna pour a little bit here on this rag. It doesn't take much. It really doesn't. If you put too much on there, it actually has like a yellow film, and you just kind of wanna um, just put it on real lightly. Just put it on the rag. If you see a yellow film, just go back over it. But uh. It really goes a long way, but you can see there, see where it hasn't been applied and where it has. It really just makes a world of difference. Um, I'm putting it on today. I need to take this thing to a car wash and really get down and get the the old dirt. You know, like I said, I washed it with a soap and um, in a plastic loofah or like Brillo type pad. But there's still a lot of just uh, residue. You can see there. Um, that, that you could probably s scrape all day. I'm going to take this thing to eventually take it to somebody who can um, detail the car and get the. But for now, this adds like a shiny finish on it. Um, I'm going to China on Wednesday. Today is uh, Monday. So I leave for China Wednesday morning. And so I'm just going to do this until I get back. This, this thing's at my parents' house here. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to finish this thing off. I'm pretty much finished now, but I don't want to show you guys the before and after. You see how it looked before and after, how shiny it is. It really does add, it really does make it, um, you know, you get on the details and see it's still dirty. But from a distance, and see the top, the hood there, it's rusty. Uh, I'm gonna put another. It really soaks in that that linseed oil, so I'm gonna put another coat or so on that. But this is an old farmer's trick, is what I learned. Um, old farmers used to put the linseed oil on the tractors when it started to rust. They'd sand the rusty areas off and uh, put linseed oil. It really adds a layer of protection. So if you got an old car with some uh, rusty spots on it, or it's just old. Instead of worrying about waxing it, just go get some linseed oil and uh, put on it, it protects the car from uh, further rusting. And then the rusty areas, let me show you this here, on the back corner here. You know, I got the, the whole hood's rusted, but this here is a rusty spot. You see that? It really doesn't look 
terribly bad. It's like a, it makes it shine, so it makes it look, it, they call it the patina look, is what it's called. And even the, the top, even though it's rusty there, it uh, has a shine to it. So, um, anyway, I want to see about cleaning these windows up, cranking the car up one last time before I go to China, maybe ride around the yard. The brakes, I drove it about eight miles down a dirt road and, and took it into Greenwood, South Carolina, which is about eight miles from where I'm at now, and uh, made it, showed some friends on the way back. This front brake, like I said, was rusted up. I thought the motor blew up. <laughs> the whole thing, it just made a loud sound and just clink, clink, clink. Parts fell out. I saw parts in the road. I went back and picked them up. But the whole brake system is gone. So I got a guy replacing the brakes uh, sometime this week. And that's really all I'm going to do to it besides clean it up and have someone clean the interior uh, shampoo. But look at this here. See this? Even for a uh, chrome head, for chrome uh, hub plates. This linseed oil it really just makes it come out. I don't know if you can see how well it works with this camera or not, but it really does just make a world of difference. See that there? That's rusty there. How it's just dull rusty. Well, it makes it kind of like a, a shiny rusty there. So. Okay, guys. And also, I noticed it works real well for the tires. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it really, you know, instead of putting tire, spending a lot of money on tire stuff, it really makes these tires shine too and uh yeah so go get you some linseed oil if you got an old car and just uh, apply it you really can't beat it for the price you know it goes a long way look how shiny that tire is okay guys i'm signing off y'all have a good one